The white scar chuckled to himself as the menials finally unfastened the restraints on the grocks. It was a large, ill-tempered creature, and it roared in rage. It seemed as if it was about to wheel around on its captors when a sharp, piercing whistle from the space marine drew its attention. It snorted and began to paw at the ground. The white scar anticipated the telegraphed move as the beast came charging at the warrior, who easily stepped out of the way and leapt clear of the swinging tail. Is he just going to kill it with that little knife? Junior Lieutenant Carter seemed surprised that one of the Ogren was actually displaying some curiosity and asking him a question. Oh, um, well, the way to properly kill a Grox is with a sharp blow to the head to stun it. Then, yes, he'll use that knife to cut its throat. Uh, Then when it bleeds out, it'll be ready to butcher. And then, dinner time. Okay, bonk it on the head. Og thought through the process, gesturing and miming it out. And then, cut that neck part. The ogren dragged his finger across his throat. Lieutenant Carter looked mildly impressed. (laughs) They really spared no expense on your bone implant, didn't they? The white scar was showing off now. He was deftly avoiding the whipping tail and powerful headbutt of the Grox. He even hopped onto the creature's back as it bellowed and tried to buck him off. After demonstrating his grace and skill, the space marine moved to bring the match to an end. He swung his fist and struck the creature right between the eyes. In a few moments, the Grox had been slain, and the entire establishment erupted in cheers from the ogren who was shouting and pounding on the reinforced tables. The White Scar bowed to the audience as he laughed and joined his compatriots at the table. Oh, me next! I want to go! Og stood up from the table as Larry, Sam, and Dingus cheered him on. Bonk it on the head, cut the throat! Bonk it on the head, cut the throat! Og continued to repeat this mantra as the menials cleared away the mess from the last match and fetched a new Grox. Lieutenant Carter helped Og pay for it. I know you Ogrins are tough, but I don't want to have to take you back to the barracks in pieces. You be careful out there, Og. The Ogrin nodded. You bonky on the head, cut the throat. It took a little while, but another Grox was brought forth. By this time, the steak from the Grox of the previous match was started to be served, at least to those who preferred their meat rare. The White Scars shared the bounty of their kill and were able to feed about half of the patrons in the establishment. A few of the Ogren minders in the restaurant smiled to themselves as the Bonehead stepped up to the challenge. Og was handed a blade, one that was a bit bigger than the one the Space Marine used. But he was ready as the menials struggled to unleash the next Grox. Og stood ready and repeated the mantra to himself silently. The beast bellowed just like the last one. But this one managed to get a bucking kick off and caught one of the menials and sent him flying back down the hall to the Grox pens. Fortunately, Grox kicks were a common workplace hazard, and the menials wore sturdy chest plates that absorbed the majority of the force from the blow. Just as before, the beast pawed at the ground and prepared to charge. Og bellowed his own challenge and Lieutenant Carter was struck by how similar bellowing ogrins sounded to bellowing Grox. Then, the creature sprinted towards Og, its heavy feet pounding the dirt of the arena. Og did not dodge out of the way as the Space Marine did. Not that he was nimble enough for that feat anyway. Instead, he planted his feet and swung his fist to meet the skull of the charging beast. There was a loud crack! and a squelching sound like a ripe melon being crushed. Og looked down at his fist, and it was covered in blood and bits of bone. He looked down at the Grox, whose skull had been pulverized, and its head crushed back into its neck. The creature immediately collapsed onto the ground. Um, how do I cut its throat now? The entire bar erupted in cheers as the white scars burst out laughing and began slapping the table. Og thought he might have messed up, 
but a large grin spread across his face when he realized that he had done good. The noise of the restaurant was very, very loud, and it was hard for Og to hear what everyone was saying. Lieutenant Carter seemed to be talking to the menials. Now, everyone was going to be able to eat Grok's steak, and Grok's steak was Og's favorite. All of the Ogrins and their minders seemed to be having a wonderful time now. After a little while, once everyone had moved from mostly eating to mostly drinking, the Space Marines stood up on their table and began telling tales of their history and great victories. They told tales of faraway lands, hopeless situations, brilliant strategies, and impossible victories snatched from the jaws of defeat. Occasionally they would mention when one of their friends died. Each time they would toast the name of their dead friend, and for each one they would take a drink. The Ogrins followed suit. It was sometimes difficult to understand the stories and what was happening, but most of the Ogrins understood when the bad people were winning, and when the good space marines got hurt, or when the white scars were able to fool the enemy and win. Og wondered if there was a bike that he could fit in, as an Ogrin. Hmm, maybe the bikes that the shiny golden custodies used might actually fit him. Og tried to tell stories himself, but he couldn't make his words sound as pretty as the White Scars. Um, one time I was fighting the bad bugs, and there was a really big bad bug. Uh, this was before with the bonehead. The bad bug cut off my arm and leg. See? Uh, that's why I got metal ones now. And Commissar Gallus lost both his legs. And I thought that he died. Uh, but he didn't die. He was alive. And then he got two metal legs. Wait. Uh, that was two different big bad bugs. Uh, I, I got mixed up. Well, let me start over. Junior Lieutenant Carter, who seemed to be fairly unhappy about being saddled with Ogren sitting duty, was actually starting to enjoy himself. He kept his drinking to a reasonable amount and encouraged Og to do the same so he could help bring the boys home later. A lone human trying to drag four drunk Ogrins home was a little more than Carter wanted to deal with. Hopefully, the Ogrins ran out of money long before any of them got too intoxicated. The Grox box was truly hopping with plenty of meat and ale to go around. A few of the Ogrins got rowdy and wanted to play push-fall, but the Boneheads and their minders got the issue sorted out before things escalated into a true brawl. Things seemed to be settling down, but then Og felt an odd rumble. That was strange. Og didn't usually feel rumbling unless his stomach was empty, which it most certainly was not. Or when guardsmen were shooting off the big guns which also was not happening. Most of the other Ogren didn't seem to notice, but the Space Marines did. They immediately tensed, stopped their talking, and listened. There was another one, louder this time and closer. The Space Marines did not hesitate and sprang into action, heading towards the rear exit of the restaurant to see what was going on. The Ogrens were just starting to notice the sound, as confusion began to spread among them. Odd felt a sinking feeling, like something bad was going to happen. And when something bad was going to happen, there was only one thing to do. Og remembered his training. Protect the officer. Og dove on top of Lieutenant Carter. Just as the explosives beneath the restaurant were detonated. No man do they call me, my mother and my father, and all my comrades as well. Thank you all for listening to the latest episode of Og the Ogren Returns. I hope you enjoyed the story as things take a turn for the more serious. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and comment and let me know what you think. If you are not yet subscribed, please do so in order to hear more stories about our favorite Ogren. If you would like to support me, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. 
both of those will be linked below. If you are confused as to what's going on, you can click on the OG, the Ogren Returns playlist, which should be appearing on screen right now. You can also listen to the original OG playlist, and that should be in the description below. Thank you all once again. No Man Out.